Hi everybody, I'm Miss Katie, and for today's art project, we are gonna start with a story. It's called Me and My Flying Machine. This story is all about creating and imagining, and it's gonna be the inspiration for our art project today. Me and My Flying Machine by Mariana and Mercer Mayer. Last summer, I discovered an old barn. It was full of great things. There were boxes, pieces of wood, there were even nails and a hammer. I could build anything I wanted. I'll build a flying machine, I thought, and I started building. I worked all day. My flying machine was almost finished, but it was dinner time and I had to go wash the dog. So I closed up the barn for the night. Goodbye, flying machine. I'll finish you tomorrow, I said and went home. That night, I dreamed about my flying machine and how it would look when I was finished. It would be something tremendous smaller than a castle, but bigger than a truck. I finally decided on something smaller. Besides, it would take me too long to build a big flying machine. There were so many things I could do. I'd deliver mail to Eskimos and people who never get mail. I'd fly above the fog and rescue lost boats at sea. I'd carry mountain climbers to the mountaintop so they wouldn't have to spend so much time climbing. Birds could rest on the wings if they were tired from flying around all day. From high in my flying machine, I could see everything, so I'd always know where everything was, and I'd never get lost. I'd help cowboys catch their cows. After all, a flying machine is much faster than a horse. My flying machine would win first prize in every race. I'd do dangerous tricks in the air, like hanging by my teeth from a long rope blindfolded. And if I fell, I wouldn't worry. I'd just open my parachute and drift safely down. My flying machine would meet me when I landed. And soon I'd have so many medals and trophies that I wouldn't know where to keep them. I couldn't wait to finish my flying machine. The next day, I ran all the way to the old barn. Everything was just like I left it. There was more work to do, so I nailed on another wing and some stuff. I finished working on my flying machine, but somehow it didn't look quite the way I thought it would. There was a brush and some old paint cans lying around, so I used a little of each. It was just what my flying machine needed. It looked better than I had imagined, so I tied a rope on the front end to pull my flying machine outside to dry. It creaked and moaned and started to shake as I pulled. And then, before I could pull it out of the barn, my flying machine fell apart. Tomorrow, I'll build a rowboat. As you can tell, our friend in this story has a great imagination. Have you ever had an idea of something really spectacular that you've wanted to invent or build? And have you ever drawn it? Before we get to our project, I quickly want to tell you about two artists who spent their lives doing just that. Rube Goldberg, an American cartoonist and inventor born in 1883, known for drawing comic drawings of machines that perform simple tasks through a series of complex unusual and often unnecessary actions, such as this one, his self-operating napkin, triggered by the drinking of soup. Another artist, British cartoonist Heath Robinson, was equally fond of creating fun and wild inventions or ingenious contraptions in whimsical and playful settings. All right, friends, now it's your turn to imagine. Let's get started on this project. For this project, you will simply need a paper and a pencil. Optional add-ons are a black Sharpie and watercolors. On to the project. Today, your goal is to imagine and draw your very own flying machine with you as captain. Looking back at the illustration in our story, Notice the bigger shapes used by the illustrator, the boat, the tank, the castle, the balloons, and also notice the details, the gears, the lines, the little pieces of wood nailed together. 
Now remember, your vision of your flying machine is going to be completely unique and your own. Once you have that vision, let's start drawing. Start with some of the basic shapes you'd like to have in your flying machine and go from there. See how they can fill the page. You may have a plan or ideas may come to you as you begin drawing. Maybe your flying machine has realistic elements or maybe it's more futuristic and abstract. How will your flying machine fly? This artist decided on wings and balloons and even a propeller. This artist, on the other hand, has decided on long tail wings and even a hot air balloon driven by his dog, Oakley, to power his flying machine. It's the small details you add that will truly make your flying machine unique. Notice the captain's quarters in this artist's machine, or notice the hummingbirds with the assistance of the dog, giving this machine an extra boost of power. No matter what you decide to do, when you are all done, your flying machine will be something tremendous. We wish we could see it. You may choose to keep your artwork as a pencil drawing, or you might decide to do the optional add-ons of black Sharpie and watercolor. Whatever you choose, you are captain of your ship. Enjoy. We hope you had fun drawing your flying machine. Maybe, perhaps you can build it out of Legos or out of recyclables, or maybe you're just inspired to design and draw a new kind of machine or gadget, perhaps something that can clean your room for you. It's always fun to imagine. Bye everybody.